Hi everybody, in this video I am going to discuss lab recursion in compiler design. A grammar is lab recursion if a is a variable when a is repeated in the leftmost position of the right hand side production. So a is repeated here, so this is lab recursion. We need to remove this lab recursion. Suppose the production is a to a or alpha and beta, then the uh, grammar after removal of this lab recursion a will be a to beta a dash, a dash is the next uh, variable and from a dash to alpha a dash and epsilon. So, so we need to find alpha and beta. So let us consider the example here, solution. First one is uh, the e arrow, e plus t and t here. Uh, this one is common that is a and this one is a. So this part is known as alpha. So this part is alpha is here plus t and beta is, uh, this one is beta beta is t. So, according to the rule, uh, e dash equal to beta e dash. Beta is, uh, that is t e dash. And e dash equal to, that is e to, that is e, from e to t e dash. And e dash from e dash to, that is a to a beta e dash, so e to t e dash. And from e dash to, that is alpha e dash. Alpha is uh, plus t e dash and epsilon. So this is the uh, removal of the lab recursion. Now let us consider the next production that is equal to t to t into f or f. Here uh, a is, a, this one is a and a, so this will be the alpha. So alpha equal to into f. The remaining part is the beta. We need to find out alpha and beta then apply the rule of uh, removal of lab recursion. Now the t this is equal to beta i dash, beta is this is f t dash and from t dash there is alpha i dash, alpha is into f uh, t dash and epsilon will be there. And the last production f arrow e there is no lab recursion that will remain same and f to id there is no lab recursion grammar so uh, this will be remain same. So uh, final grammar is uh, e to t dash e dash to plus t dash and epsilon uh, t to f t dash and t dash to star f t dash and epsilon and f to e and id. So this is the uh, concept of lab recursion in compiler design. Thank you very much for watching this.